You don't want to waste your money on many products that don't work for you, but rather invest in something that you can use every day. I made it this simple makeup beginner starter kit, which is essential, affordable, and easy to use. Then, shall we begin? There's a large variety of makeup products and applications out there. It can be overwhelming to figure out what fits your needs best. From my point of view, some products are essential while others are just optional. First thing first, let's talk about primer. It can be beneficial but not essential. If you have some budget to spare, you can consider investing a good makeup primer. However, as a beginner, I believe that having a good skincare routine is way more beneficial than using a primer for achieving a good base makeup look. Instead of spending on a primer, you might want to consider investing other versatile products such as concealer. This way, you can make the most out of your makeup product while staying within your budget. Second, foundation. You might think that foundation is essential, but I think it is optional. If you are a beginner in makeup, I wouldn't recommend using a foundation, especially matte full coverage foundation. This is a big mistake I made when I started doing my makeup when I was in high school. I thought I should apply foundation and I needed that full coverage to just even out my skin tone when I actually didn't need it. Even if you have acne or hyperpigmentation you want to cover, there are still good concealers you could use and it is much more versatile than using a foundation. But if you still want to buy a foundation, instead of buying a matte full coverage foundation, look for one with a light and and a natural finish. If you're a beginner in makeup, you might not be familiar with controlling the amount of foundation you use. So even if you apply a lot of light coverage foundation, it still won't be look unnatural. Also, rather than foundation, look for the product labeled as tinted moisturizer. I'm planning to make a separate video about it, but it's basically a moisturizer that has color tint. It offers sheer coverage and hydration, which is perfect for a beginner in makeup just to even up skin complexion. It is tricky to find lightweight and natural looking good tinted moisturizer at the drugstore and I still couldn't find the perfect ones that meet my expectations. Most of them dry fast and feel like a stain. But if you'd like to invest in buying a good tinted moisturizer, I have recommendations for you. First product is this Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. This is the most hydrating tinted moisturizer I ever use. It seems like you are applying nothing, but it still provides a sheer coverage, which is perfect for beginner makeup. It is so easy to use with your fingers, and since it blends well, you don't need any skills to blend. But if you still want more coverage than this Glossier Skin Tint, I'd like to recommend this product is Dr. Jart Barrier Beauty Balm. This is also a tinted moisturizer that has sheer coverage with a hydrating formula. The shade perfectly matches my skin tone so that's why I love it but since this is a Korean brand which means they don't have wider shade ranges so some of you guys might not find your shade. For those of you who couldn't find your shade from this Dr. Jart product, here is another option. It is Tower 20 8 Beauty Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. This is the most expensive one among these three, but I think it is definitely worth the investment because you are just applying this all over your face. It's called Tinted Sunscreen, so it provides SPF protection and sheer coverage at the same time. It is lightweight and has a breathable formula, so perfect for beginners. Corrector. Is it optional? Yes. I know I mentioned about color correcting a lot on my channel and featured the products a lot but if you're new to makeup and starting from the zero, I would say not to buy at first. Since there are too many colors, you may not know which shade you should use for a certain area. It seems all complicated. So it is better to invest your money on concealer first and see if it covers really well and if it's not enough, you can try using a color corrector. But if you still want to 
to get a color corrector. Here is my all-time favorite and affordable color corrector from NYX. It has six different shades which you could use it for all hyperpigmentation. I already made a video about color correcting specifically so please check it out if you haven't. Next, concealer. The most important part of today's video and it's essential. Whether you love better makeup or full glam makeup, concealer is the most versatile product and I have many options for you. First product is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I believe this is the best, most affordable and effective concealer I ever use. It has light to medium coverage. It conceals without feeling heavy or looking cakey. It provides semi matte finish, so if you have dry skin, it is good to prepare your skin with a good moisturizer before you do your makeup. If you don't want to use a foundation but still want some decent coverage from the concealer, this concealer would be a perfect option for you. Next product is L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. If you have oily skin or some acne or hyperpigmentation you want to cover, I highly recommend this product. Even though it has coverage if you apply thin layer of it it won't look cakey but still achieve a natural look as long as you have small concealer brush you could cover acne or any small spots you want to cover perfectly so highly recommend this product if i have to pick one product to invest in it would be concealer specifically this gravity concealer if you want light coverage or full coverage it could do everything for you because it's buildable it has medium coverage but if you apply a thin layer of it it will look natural and if you apply more generously to your skin it will provide the perfect full coverage with a natural finish and hydrating formula let's talk about about powder. Is it essential? Yes. But I don't want to recommend investing too much on powder if you are a beginner. Since the purpose of using a powder is just to mattify the area where you don't want any shine on your face, I'd like to recommend any affordable press translucent powder. If it is a normal loose powder, the particles of the powder would go everywhere. But if it is pressed one, you could easily control it. For me, I've been enjoying using this NYX finishing powder. It does its job just to mattify the area and not give that too matte finish so it's just perfect for everyday use. For eye makeup, eyeshadow palette is a must for makeup beginners. But I wouldn't say buy the product with 20 or 30 shades which are mostly not used in your everyday makeup look. Rather choose the one with soft brown tones from light to deep colors. To achieve a sophisticated basic eye makeup look, you would need three shades. First shade is the shade one that mimics your skin color to use it as a base. Second shade is a little bit darker than your skin tone to shade your crease. The shade is for creating fake eyeliners or deepening your look like deep brown shade. And here are some eyeshadow palettes I'd like to recommend. If you're in the state, I found that Colourpop has a variety of eyeshadow palettes with good shade ranges. And I'd like to recommend this Nude Mood palette with warm soft brown tones. If you are in a country where Colourpop is not available, this Maybelline The Nudes palette has a good shade range from light brown shades to deep brown shades. So I recommend this palette for beginners. If you are looking for a Korean brand option, here is a recommendation for you. I've been enjoying this eyeshadow palette since it has natural shade ranges. It's just perfect for an everyday makeup look. I know eyeliner is the scariest part for beginners because I guess you might fail every time you try to draw those perfect wing eyeliners. What I could suggest is drawing fake eyeliners with deep brown eyeshadow using small flat eyeshadow brush first and draw the lines over. Eyeliner is a essential for your everyday look but the type of eyeliner matters so I highly recommend using a pencil type because it gives you a soft appearance rather than the obvious black pen eyeliner look. One of my favorite drugstore brands is NYX and their pencil eyeliner is good. Another recommendation in case you live in a country where NYX is not available and if you want to explore more like Korean brands, Clio is well-known brand for creating the best eyeliner and mascara in South 
South Korea. So their pencil eyeliner is great too. I've been enjoying this pencil, especially the brown color for a softer appearance, and I highly recommend this product. One of the most popular mascara brands is Maybelline, and I believe it is all over the world. Rather than investing in mascara worth $20 or $30, I think Maybelline is the most affordable yet effective mascara ever, at drugstore especially. I try many different Maybelline mascaras, and for me, this less sensational mascara is the best. It does not smudge and provides a volumizing look in a natural way. For eyebrows, it depends on what you need. I would say it's kind of essential. If you have an obvious eyebrow shape like me, you might not need to use those eyebrow pencil. Rather, just fill in your brows with an ashy eyebrow powder or eyeshadow to fill in. In that case, you might not need to buy an eyeshadow powder, but rather just use an ashy brown eyeshadow or contour powder for you to save money as a beginner. But if you have a lot of gaps on your brow and need some fake eyebrow hair techniques, you might need an eyebrow pencil. I have this Maybelline eyebrow pencil in my makeup cabinet and sometimes use it to just extend a bit of my brow shape at the end. It has the right amount of pigmentation for everyday use, so I recommend this for beginners. Blush is also one of the hardest parts. When I started doing my makeup, I do I needed to apply that pink blush every time when I do my makeup. And I didn't even know when to stop, so I just kept applying the blush over and over and it ended up looking like I'm too flush. Instead, look for more muted pink shade in a powder formula for a softer appearance. For blush, I found that e.l.f. primer infused blush is great for beginners, although it doesn't have that much pigmentation. It provides sheer coverage, which is perfect for people who don't know where to stop applying a blush. So it will give you a natural look. But if you want to invest more money in a blush as a beginner, I would highly recommend using this 3CE blush. It's pretty tricky to find the like perfect muted pink shade at the drugstore, so that's why I would like to recommend investing some money. It has the perfect muted pink shade. It will completely change the tone and mood for your look. For contour powder, I would highly encourage you to try for Korean makeup brand, especially if you have skin tone like me. They create more ashy shades to create a more natural look for your skin tones. I've been enjoying using this Too Cool For School contour powder at the moment. It has the most natural shade ever and blends beautifully. For beginners, I don't think high coverage matte lipsticks are essential. Rather look for natural looking lipstick or tinted lip balm or glow. It not only hydrates your lips but also provides sheer coverage so it is perfect for everyday makeup look. Lip gloss, I would like to also recommend to look for Korean makeup brands because they have the best and the most affordable options out there and my two favorites at the moment is this Roman Juicy Lasting Tint and another one is Herpera Ink Mood Glowy Tint. And this Roman one has more like a muted shade option so if you would like to go for that muted colors this brand would be a great option to look for and this Herpera has more like color and intense color in it and it has more brighter color options so you could compare this to products in their website and shades too. So this was all about building a makeup kit for beginners. I hope you guys find this very helpful. Please note that good makeup starts from having a healthy mindset. I highly encourage you to not to feel that you have to buy all these products to look in a certain way. It all starts from little small steps that first upsetting your natural appearance and starting to learn the ways to enhance it. So that's what I want to deliver every time when I make my makeup videos or just this beauty related videos. So. And please do not forget to share this video with your friends who are struggling to what to buy or where to start their makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.